So a while back my friend suggested that I do a saves for shot it video. So I finally got around to buying a like shot glass while it's stainless steel and some apple sours. So I've got some questions and I know what questions they are and we're gonna see whether I'm going to be answering them or shotting them. So I could have gone with either raspberry or apple. Well, could have gone with strawberry. Well, no I couldn't because my Asta didn't have it and Tesco only has raspberry, apple or cherry. But anyway, I went with apple because when I was 12, so 2014, I was at Butlins with my old dance school, well now old dance school anyway, and I basically one of the older girls came back with a bottle of sours and I'm guessing some plastic shot like cups and that girl had asked my mum whether I could do a shot like a shot of apple sours and my mum had said no and so today I'm going to fulfill what young me couldn't do so before I get into the questions I am going to be doing a shot of sours on its own as like a little nod to my younger self well, it, at least it smells nice. I'm just worried that this is... I'm not going to do a f the full thing. It's about halfway through. Only because this collapses. So I don't want it to collapse on me. But let's go. <laughs> Oops. Well, it tastes nice. I've now got it over me, so I can't do it all in one go. My mouth is big, but not that big. Oh. Well, at least it's nice. Oh God. After finishing it, now it hits like, you know, like, the sour bit. Oops. <laughs> of course that would happen with me. But anyway, now we've done that. But you've got to think, the small like actual like cups are going to be a lot smaller than this. So, yeah. But I had, I asked on my Instagram for like questions. I only got one response. But I thought was I'm still going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to get on to the ones my friends asked. So I got asked have you had sex before and the answer is no I'm still a virgin so there's that I'd like to point out I haven't had any alcohol today it's currently just after it's almost one o'clock so it's after 12 originally I was thinking oh let's do this about 10 but I ended up sleeping way past when I wanted to not way past because yeah I had to walk to Tesco then first question my friends asked is have you ever fancied or got feelings for a girl? And my answer is no, but I do think I've sort of questioned it. You know, like, how you go through the phase of, do I like girls or not? And so I would, I have, like, gone on to, like, like the bomb on Bumble and set it to finding girls and I've gone through and... I've just found myself not being interested in girls and I've only attracted to guys so I went through a phase of like unsure of like being unsure but no I haven't also I'm gonna have this just set up ready I'm not gonna do the full thing because we've all just seen how that happens how that goes but <laughs> You're probably guessing why. <laughs> but the next one I got asked is, have you ever had a sex dream? <laughs> I can promise you one day that as we're going through, I'm going to be drinking more and more. I hope I actually end up tipsy by the end of this. I'm hoping to film a drunk ASMR video. I haven't. Oh god, that was a bit much. I 
to visit to the next question, yeah, but I've got it ready. Oh, yeah. Who's your favourite friend out of your college friends? So, obviously, I'm going to shop this question, but I like my friends for different reasons. One is, like, more, like, bubbly, outgoing, etc. So, yeah, she's just more bubbly, outgoing. She brings a lot me out a lot. And then I've got another friend who still, like, bubbly but not as but I can have like um, like I can have serious conversations with all of them but I've always found myself having more like serious conversations with her and yeah and then my other friend we did placements together she I don't know what else to say I don't know how to describe them but I just like my friends for my friends and for obviously I can't actually answer who exactly is my favourite so I'm going, obviously going to shot. It gets worse. Oh. oh, a reprieve. Next question is, do you have feelings for anyone at the moment? And the answer is no, I don't. A, I don't have exposure to boys. I rarely have, apart from secondary, but the boys were nice to me, which means that I also have trust issues in terms of guys. So if I'm ever going to date a guy, it might take him a while. It might take me a while for me to trust him. So, no. And also, lockdown has had an effect on that anyway. What's the first thing you would do if you woke up one day and you were the opposite sex? I don't know, so I'm going to shot. Oh, God. <clears throat> I promise you I am actually pouring alcohol. But I don't know. The first time I put this in my mouth, it's fine. <laughs> then as you sip it more, it's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. But, 12 year old me is enjoying this. In a fashion. <coughs> oh. Okay, now this next question I am gonna answer. How much is in your bank account right now? And I can say, tell you this, it's less than £10. Probably about 8 I spent 80p of my car, like money on my bank account today at Tesco after spending £15 in actual cash. There was a lot of 10 in my thing. But I said a £10 note, so that was fine. But anyway, yeah, I have about £8. <coughs> yeah. I have more in my savings. I'm not gonna. I have less than 200 in my savings, and I have about 110 in my helped by Isa. Number seven. Who's your least favorite person you've ever met? And I'm basically the person's initials begin with R G T. I went to secondary school with him, so anyone from secondary school will know exactly who I mean. And the reason why I don't like him is because he bullied me like in the sort of like tease torment way like it wasn't like physical bullying but it was more like your verbal and when someone repeats something you know like so for example off a lot of the time he'd go caitlin 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 i until i turned around and then when i look around he'd say smells and he would keep doing that and it would just it was repetitive and it, it was annoying and the more he did it the more it annoyed me and I always found I was bullied more in maths, which is the only lesson, well, and a little bit in English, but he sat closer to me in maths, so I always got it in maths, and he'd, al because he'd, he'd always be the instigator, so he'd start, and then all the boys, at least, like, on my side of the math maths classroom would join in, whereas in physics, where I had, or, like, biology, where I, no, 
physics is my best example I had two of the guys in my maths class who follow along with him but in physics it would always be more banter than mean and they'd always be nicer to me I'd always be able to have a natural conversation and so he was always the instigator and so for that reason I don't like he's the person he's my least favorite person because he he's the worst part about my secondary school experience everything else yeah it was not i guess him bullying me is sort of a normal in the sense of a lot of people get bullied but he was the worst part about secondary school for me and it was one of the main reasons why i was so glad to get away because i was away from that and at least i didn't get kicked out of college whereas he got kicked out of our secondary school because he went to sixth form he got kicked out i didn't he might be smarter than me but i didn't kick it i didn't get kicked out i've turned up to every single lesson that i could if i've not turned up to a lesson i've always told the teacher the reason why so i'm better than him and that's all i gotta say so fuck you gt anyway that's not the only one speaking either don't think so anyway anyway <laughs> eight what's the most embarrassing thing your parents have caught you doing i want to i'm going to shot it anyway but one of the things that was kind of embarrassing not embarrassing in the sense of like embarrassing embarrassing but in the sense of i when i daydream the emotions like show on my face and i once like daydream like proper daydreamed in the living room and they saw like my facial reactions and how they change and they thought something was wrong with me but I know it's just me dreaming like me daydreaming so that's something that's a little embarrassing my, recently my stepdad come, came across my kegel balls video so there's that but I'm still gonna shot it because there's nothing like really embarrassing however I will say a p memory from secondary school that was embarrassing i think it was the first day of year 10 possibly year 11 but i believe year 10 i was walking at a maths after a maths lesson and there you know how you have those manhole covers uh, well it was slightly raised and i tripped over it fell over and i was wearing a skirt and the boys from my year were behind me so that was embarrassing in secondary but shot it I'm just looking for any reason to shot at this point because we've got to make this video quality content because I obviously don't make enough of it and if you've gotten this far make sure you watch another one of my videos because it really helps out my channel And if you've already watched every single video on my channel, go back and watch them again. <clears throat> Number nine, what's your biggest sexual fear? Uh, I think, uh, I don't know whether it's sexual fear, it's to do with sex, but I guess my sort of fear is like, I start having consensual sex with a person, I tell them to stop but then they continue and basically rape me. I think that's something I do fear, like happening or like, I don't know. Or I think one of my fears would be like, if I was having sex with a person and I'd been having sex with them like quite a few times, I think one of my fears would be not being able to orgasm for them because obviously Orga like even if it was just like clitoral like orgasming can really like boost a guy's ego it can also boost my it could also boost my ego as well but it can make you feel good and it can make the other person feel good and feel accomplished and so one of my fears would be that i can't he can't make me 
get to that point, whether it be clitoral or G spot. I know there's like the A spot, but we're going with the two main ones. And so that's sort of another fear, but I don't have like a proper fear fear. <laughs> I'm just, I'm basically shotting every question at this point because I'm not feeling it, the alcohol at this point. Oh, we've made it a proper shot. Obviously I'm not going to shot shot it. Oh. Oh. I made this a proper shot. I haven't had much food today, so these air curls should be kicking in by now. Like I've only had a banana, a few goats and a slice of ham. I have a cheese and onion sandwich to eat after that I bought from Tesco when I bought my Mother's Day stuff and the sours because my friend said that if I do need to sober up, bread is a good thing to sober up and my hands are gone sticky. So thank God for keeping that by my side. Oh, it's going green, I think. Or is it just a light? Probably just the light, but we've still got questions. We've still got questions. What is your weirdest turn on? I think because I've not had sex, I don't know one of the things that's going to turn me on that's going to be classed as weird. So, shut it. I'm currently filming like a vlog, so you'll be able to see. The aftermath of that in like the aftermath of my say it or shot it in that vlog so yeah <laughs> oh god when it hits the back of your throat like after like your third time of sipping. <laughs> I definitely want to try raspberry at some point though. <laughs> Number 11. Are you scared for sex? Honestly, no. I think just because I'm not in a relationship, I'm not scared for sex and recently i've been like thinking of, i think recently i've been thinking about sex more especially because i am coming up to university and everything and so for that reason i've thought about sex more but at the moment no i'm not scared but i've also can think i'm Something that feels right for me is waiting until marriage or get it, or waiting until as close to marriage as possible. So, because like I said earlier, I've got a little bit of trust, thanks. I've got a little bit of trust issues in terms of guys. And so I feel like in order for me to fully know that the guy's not gonna take advantage of me, I wanna be married to him and that's just how i am like honestly yeah i just think i'm gonna wait till marriage because at least that's what i feel now is being single never had a boyfriend etc i just feel like that's gonna be better for me obviously if i get into a relationship i now, I, even though I'm saying this now, I'm not saying that I might, I'm definitely going to wait till marriage. It depends on the guy. <clears throat> but I definitely know I want to wait at the very least six months. But I feel like in order for me at the very least to feel comfortable, it needs to be a year. So, at the moment, no, I'm not scared for sex. I think I'm now more ready for it than I was maybe like a year ago. Like a year ago, I thought I was ready, but it wasn't until 
However, a year ago, I <clears throat> still felt uncomfortable in terms of like the thought of masturbation. But come like a few months before my 19th, I was ready to explore that. And so I think from that point on, I became ready to do the deed. <clears throat> so there's that. Uh, but we should do a small shot just to, you know, get some alcohol in my system. We only did a small one though. Oh god. At what age do you want to get married slash kids? So I remember a few years ago, it was right at the start of 2016, so at the time I was 14, I was at a house party for the like someone who I used to dance with. Like it wasn't her house, it was her parents' house, but she was like younger than me, so you got you get what I mean? She was like 12, I think. I'm not sure. She was about 12 anyway. And we were at the house party and for whatever reason, my mum ended up having com having a conversation with me and three of the people I danced with. And granted, yes, it didn't apply to all of us in terms of like time scale. But my mum was saying, like, wait until after you've gone to uni then be in a job for a year because it's once you've been in a job for a year that you qualify for full maternity leave in terms of like the full, full pay for the first six months and then like the half pay for the three months after and so that for me sort of resonated in the sense of obviously I want to be able to financially provide for my child and so there's that so at the very with the how I am I'll be, I'm 19 and so I'll be starting uni at 19, so I'll be finishing at 22 and so let's say I can't get a job till I'm 23, I'll probably end up having a kid at like at the very earliest, 25. In terms of marriage, I think in terms of like my peak physique, possibly before 30 or like early 30s. Obviously, I know life happens differently, but I'd want to have had my first kid by like my mid thirties, at the very latest. I'd love to have a kid in my twenties, but it depends on whether I find a guy who I trust and who I think will be a good father to our future children, because I do want more than one child and I want them closer together than what my sister and I are. We're almost 14 years apart. So there is that. But, so yeah, I'd love to get married in my twenties. I'd love to do that. But it just depends. Like I'm hoping I meet a guy in uni and <clears throat> even if we don't like go like last like light for a lifetime, I want, I'd want a serious relationship because I feel like I'm fairly like picky in terms of guys like I've become a little less picky so like for example if I'm on like a dating app I, I'm not a fan of dating apps in the sense of I'm just not a fan but if I was on a dating app and I was scrolling through if someone said that they often smoked it would be a swipe left whereas if or even like occasionally sometimes I would swipe left for those but now I'm more open to occasionally because I don't like the smell of smoke and I don't like it when my mum's partner smokes I just don't like it I don't like the smell that it brings into the house and I don't want that around my future kids and so if the person did smoke I'd hope that they'd have the want to maybe stop if we were to have kids so there is that because I don't want to smoke I have never smoked I don't want to try it and so that's that 
so I'd hope to have kids by like my 30s but obviously things happen for a reason but if by like my but if I get to my mid 30s I've not met a right guy I've not had a kid then I would go down the option of like a sperm donor because or even adoption like I definitely want to have at least one of my own biological children because I want to know the feeling of being pregnant and that experience and the birth I want to experience all that I know in the states you can do the embryo adoption and if I was in the states I would definitely do that and so there's that but I do think adoption would possibly like be a good one for me and I do think it's like or even like fostering and even if I had like my own like four kids and I got to like my 40s or something or like 45 or something I don't know I'd then if my age allowed my situation allowed I would then foster or adopt because I definitely think I want to do that and so there is that but I do definitely want a big house like a four or five bed house at least I say at least but it's probably going to end up being about that because don't give I like having space I like having loads of space and I don't like having things cramped so for that reason I'd want a bigger house because it allows more space and it seems bigger Okay, so that was all the questions my friends asked me, but I'm going to go through and look for, you know, like, the ones on the internet. Oh, I like this question. What was the last thing you searched for on your phone? I'm going to do it as in what was the last thing I searched for on my iPad. The last thing I searched was, is an, is an eclair a donut? Just because, you know, like, eclair Simmons, like, Whitney Simmons' sister. Yeah. Oh, I like, I like these questions. And we're going to make this, like, juicy. It says, if you had to choose between going naked or having your thoughts appear in thought bubbles above your head for everyone to read, which would you choose? I'd choose to get naked. Honestly, what my mind conjures up is so weird. So I would definitely go for the naked. I'd rather go like skinny dipping than have all my thoughts appear above my head. Have you ever walked in on your parents doing it? No. At least I don't think so anyway. I think I might have almost let the... When we were looking after my nan's dog, I think I might have almost let my nan's dog in. They said... Obviously, they're not going to say they were. But, yeah. Oh, I like this question. Have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction? Technically, yes. In the sense of, it was primary school. I'm answering questions till this alcohol kicks in. I was in primary school... And I went to the toilet and I realised that I still had my pyjama shorts on underneath my tights and my skirt. Like, they were pink and I'm pretty sure they were like Hannah Montana. Like, they didn't actually have Hannah Montana on but I think they went with like a Hannah Montana top. And honestly, it was like... I think I remember thinking, now I know why it my tights are so comfy. It's because I got something under that. Like, un before the tides like honestly another question is do you sleep with a stuffed animal the answer is yes and this animal has he has meaning to me i got him when i was almost three it was like the christmas of 2004 i turned three like four days later and i also had chicken pox on my third birthday which is great which is something i've never shared but then again i've never had the reason to share it and he like for a while i used to sleep with a different teddy but then as i got older and as i grew that teddy i used to sleep with got smaller and smaller in the sense of because i was bigger it seemed smaller and so i started sleeping with a different teddy bear and it was a builder bear and i actually have him downside of my bed i always take him off the bed like before videos but he's always down the side and he always sleeps and I take him on like holiday with me so yeah and he's going to uni with me it's a build a bear black lab actually it's a bear factory black lab actually because I think it was used to be called the bear factory before it was the build a bear factory or something I don't know but he's a black lab he's got a bark in and I actually recently found another one without the bark that looks like this this one I think is a little chubbier 
but I bought this I bought this for my sister for Easter so this is like a more pristine condition a less loved condition and this is mine but with mine I've slept with him so often that it's like yeah his fur isn't as like soft and but I absolutely love him he's from my uncle and I think that's one of the reasons why he means more to me because my uncle lives in Australia and he immigrated there when I was three which was like the end of April start of May of 2005 and obviously like I said I got it the Christmas of 2004 so it was the last Christmas present I got for my uncle in person so and I as the years have gone on I've more and more missed my uncle and I do want to go to Australia as soon as possible so there's that and also it's something to like cuddle and it's just like something to lean on as well and it's just so nice next question have you ever farted and blamed someone else the answer is yes if i as a jokey way though like i've possibly been at my nana's or at home and if we've had like my nana's been up all we've just had the dog if i farted you blame on the dog if my <laughs> or if or even if you've not exactly farted but you smell a fart if you smell a fart you just say it's probably the dog i'm sorry but so many people do that and if you don't you're lying if you could only hear one song for the rest of your life what would it be now there's a few songs that i think of but one of the songs i've been really loving at the moment is what love is by tom gregory i absolutely love it i don't know what it is i think it's like his voice and it's like I want to know what love is is one of the lyrics and even though it's like as a love song to someone else it sort of hits me more because I'm obviously I've obviously never been in a relationship but it doesn't hit me in that sense it's just like I love the beat like the rhythm of it I love the sound of his voice like his singing voice and honestly yeah the alcohol is starting to take effect more so we're answering more questions Oh, if you could go back in time to erase one thing you said or did, what would it be? Now, it's not technically, it's something I did and it's, well, technically it's something I didn't do and I didn't put enough effort in with people at, when I used to dance. Like I could have, like I should have made more of an effort like to talk to them, but I was really shy and I didn't want to say anything that would make them hate me or make things awkward, so I never said anything. But I also regret not making an effort after I left but then I also think they should have made an effort but still I wish I'd made more of an effort so there's that would you rather be caught picking your nose or picking a wedgie probably my nose because if you think about it a wedgie is near your ass so everything you've ever eaten is near your ass and you've probably just wiped so again so much ugh. whereas with a bogey i don't know it feels less weird i don't know it just feels less weird have you ever kept a library book yes but only because they were getting rid of those books so there's a loophole and i still have those books I've read a few of those books, so yeah, I still have, I, technically, I, I have kept a library book. Oh, here's a question, would you rather go for a month without washing your hair, or go for a day without wearing a bra? Definitely go without, go a day without wearing a bra. A day is a lot shorter than a month, and I feel like, you can kind of hide your boobs, and like, so, not wearing a bra is less of an issue whereas for a lot of people hair is a big thing in terms of personality what's the most embarrassing you've done regarding your crush i had a small crush i haven't shot it shotted in a while so i need to but i'm only gonna do a small one but what was it What's the most embarrassing thing you've done regarding your crush? Technically, it's not embarrassing. But 
I just like crush on someone who I went to secondary school with or I've never admitted that apart from to one friend but I just like crush on him I let him know over one weekend he didn't fancy me back this was year 10 and I asked can you not mention anything he said yeah so he didn't mention anything I then ended up dancing with him at prom one dance if you could eat anything you wanted without getting fat what would, what would that be definitely sweets I absolutely love sweets like squashies like the skittles chewies oh but cheese savouries oh my god I love cheese savouries I think it's starting to take effect would you date someone shorter than you <sighs> no but only because I'm 5'3 you don't typically get a guy who's shorter than 5'3 so no I wouldn't just because I kind of want a guy who I could bury my head into his chest like very easily and also because if a guy's taller than me his jumpers and like hoodies are more likely to fit me if I he was to want to wear them if you ran out of toilet paper would you consider wiping with the empty roll the answer is yes just because technically the loo roll it is just a thicker version of the toilet paper so technically you just wipe in with toilet roll but thicker so yeah it's definitely taking the fact now if you could only use one swear word for the rest of your life which one would it be the word fuck it's the best i use it so often to my friends next question is if you knew your friend's boyfriend was cheating on her what would you do firstly i'd kill him then i'd tell her well you know firstly i'd tell her then we'd kill him together that's what i'd do i need to shot it's up to like there i don't know you can see i can't remember what i was up to before let's do a tiniest one you know just to get some in my system I bet my friends are going to watch this thinking, what the hell is she? Oh. Someone's home. I know where it is. Sort of. Well, I do, but I haven't been downstairs to check. Would you rather be skinny and hairy or fat and smooth? Skinny and hairy. Because you can always shave that hair. But if you're fat, typically that comes with a worse mental health. Obviously, you know, sometimes skinny can as well, but you know. Have you ever had a crush on the teacher? The answer is no, but I know people who have thought that a teacher looked pretty, at least in secondary anyway. And when I say a teacher looked pretty, I mean a male teacher. He was like a supply type person, if that makes sense. He was only there for a short time. And I can exactly name who thought he was nice looking. Describe what makes someone husband or wife material. So for me, husband material is someone who actually does stuff around the house that annoys me about my husband's partner. He doesn't do a lot. But I want someone who's going to do stuff around the house, put an effort with children, you know, with our children and is going to respect me that type of thing oh would you get into a long distance relationship yes but kind of depends on how long distance like i was saying i know like i would be in a long distance with an australian but I also think, would I be able to visit over there? Because if I was to do long distance, I'd want to be kind of like equal in terms of how many times I visited them and how much I paid to visit them, if it was like that type of thing. So in that sense, I'd need to be close. But if I was making a good amount of money, then further afield, I would be okay with. 
Oh, what is the quality or characteristic that you would like to change about you? For me, it's probably, I don't know. I sometimes think before I speak. I, can, I sometimes speak before I think. And, yeah. And I also feel like I'm a little stubborn, so, yeah. Okay, so the next thing is, what is the worst rumour or gossip you said or repeated and at the end was something wrong? Now, it's not exactly something I've done, it's a rumour that was created about me when I was in secondary. Basically, a rumour came about that I apparently tried to kiss one of the boys and I definitely didn't, like, god knife, not him. And... Literally, I was sat on like the windowsill, but the windowsill was low down. And he'd stood near the locker, like the edge of the lockers, near the windowsill. And I stood up to go stand there with some of my other classmates. And because I was fairly closer to him, apparently I tried to kiss him. Not the case. In year 11, he could not remember anything about that. But I remember stuff. I remember stuff. And for me, I hated it. And I'm pretty sure I ended up slapping the guy. Who then got in my face. Being like, why did you try and kiss him? And like, well, and what not. So, I'm pretty sure I ended up slapping a guy because there were a rumour that someone created about me. And honestly, it was so annoying. And no one else seems to remember that rumour apart from me. Like I once brought it up to the friends who I wasn't friends with at the time but were like around and they didn't remember it. I think it was year 9 though when it happened. What's your biggest fantasy? For me it's probably seeing my uncle. Hands down. In the terms of the question of what's the secret you've never told anybody, well, technically I've told one person. She knows who she is. It's about something that happened in my childhood. So, yeah. One person knows. And she's one of my best friends. Mm. What's your biggest insecurity? Probably not being good enough for someone, if that makes sense. So like, I feel like there's so many better girls out there than me. So my biggest insecurity would be that a guy could find out someone better or like my friends could find someone better. I don't think they could though, I'm amazing. But you know, what's the worst thing that ever anyone's ever done to you? It relates to that secret. what's the biggest mis misconception about you it may when i read that question it made me think of like the start of a parent it made me think of something my friend said how at the start of the year when she met me she thought i'd be cute and innocent in terms of like i'd be like a goody two shoes and then now she knows me it's like wow you definitely went there but yeah so that is my say it or shot it i'm definitely feeling the effects of the alcohol i will say that i have oh my god i basically drank like close to like half yeah ten and a half units is that through the whole thing yeah 
I definitely have more than two to three livers. So poor liver. Poor liver. But anyway, that is my sagittal shot it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want me to do another sagittal shot it, then let me know. Leave a comment letting me know of any questions for like a future sagittal shot it. Or, I don't know, any other videos you want to see from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.